Hi, welcome to the Community Hotline. I'm Monica Weitzel. We're here in Gresham at Metro East Community Media, and I'm happy to welcome back to our studios Dr. Jeff Speck, who is the conductor and music director for the Oregon Pro Art Chamber Orchestra. Thanks thank, for coming. Thank you for having me. It's, it's a pleasure always a to be pleasure here. It's a pleasure to have you here. Always a pleasure to be here. Well, good. Then we're on the same page. <laughs> so you are busy all year long. Mm -hmm. There's always something going on. It seems like you have more going on now than usual because um, you've got um, you've got two youth orchestras now. Did you always have two youth orchestras? We 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 actually started with one originally when uh, when we started the first first youth orchestra. We had uh, a number of parents from the community come up and talk to our president at the time, Mike Shaw, um, wanting us to start a youth chamber experience mm -hmm. for everybody. Um, and that was so popular the first year, we actually ended up adding a second orchestra later on. So we have two, wow. two youth orchestras now, and, and we're always looking down the road for further expansion. Four, five, ten. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, However I many we, I mean, we need. Hey, that's great. I mean, that's a great experience for kids, I'm sure. What ages are we talking about? Anywhere from age 10 to about 23. So uh, we, the way the two orchestras are set up, we, we have our, our advanced orchestra, which is uh, known by its acronym, OPECO, the Oregon mm -hmm. Pro Art Youth right. Chamber Orchestra. Um, and that's for the advanced students. Mm -hmm. uh, they get an opportunity to perform not only uh, in, in the actual orchestra itself, but also we break off and do small chamber ensembles. Nice. And the students get opportunities to, to receive expert coaching from, uh, from you know, master chamber performers wow. uh, throughout the community. Do some of them plan to go on to make uh, music their careers? Some of them do. Uh, our, our focus is to uh, offer that experience, offer opportunities for them, you know, to develop their, their musical skills, uh, but also, more importantly, to develop relationships and friendships that, you know, last a lifetime and, uh, lifetime and to, you know, to gain experiences yeah. uh, that will be with them for, for the remainder of their lives. And well-rounded adults. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. exactly. So I, I kind of jumped ahead, but the, um, the Oregon Pro Art Chamber Orchestra, can, for those who may not know about you, which I can't imagine, but <laughs> could you um, tell our viewers just a little bit about how you got started and, and um, why you're a nonprofit? Well, we are a, a nonprofit regional uh, chamber orchestra, and our mission is to, uh, is to enrich the community, the greater Portland community, through live musical performance and also through uh, education and community outreach. That's our main focus. Um, and most most uh, orchestra uh, entities mm -hmm. are, are nonprofit. Where we it's the same kind of funding model where we have money coming from ticket sales, mm -hmm. uh, grants and donations, uh, corporate sponsorships. Um, the youth orchestras are funded through through tuition as well as grants okay. and uh, other private donations. Um, and so, uh, with the youth orchestra focus, we we education is one of the main components of our organization, um, and uh, and we aim to give back to the community and also to serve the community through those programs. That's great. The, and, and I can see that um, the education that they get is not just music education, it's performing, it's being part of their community, it's, it's giving back. I mean, that's all kind of part of it, isn't it, and how to, you know, how to conduct yourself through this music world that you have. Absolutely. Yeah. The, the, the environment we try to create is one that is, that is uh, you know, challenging musically, mm -hmm. uh, where students will be challenged to grow and, and develop their skills. Uh, but also, we try to uh, aim for a fun and enriching environment that will that will you know build the whole person. Right, you know, some, right. You know, place a place where they can feel comfortable to express themselves, to grow, to uh, meet new people, to be a part of something yeah. you know greater than themselves. And 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 with all the the music programs and other arts programs that have been cut from the schools, you know, you're feeling filling a really important niche. I think. Absolutely. By doing Absolutely. Because it's it's really sad. I think when there's you know, I mean, that's, that's so important. I'm just. Um, just doing well academically, people that you know they've proven that people that uh, play music are they mm -hmm. usually do do better. Just you know, there's a mathematical component to that, and I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't play music, and I don't do well in <laughs> math. So there you go. <laughs> number, number of benefits uh, for playing in music yeah. that go all for all the way from creativity to uh, self reliance to uh, developing. Uh, specific skills, perseverance, uh, teamwork, all the yeah. things that, that are part of uh, being in a musical ensemble, all the things that go into developing one's craft as a musician. So being a professional musician is only a teeny part of it, if, Lit if somebody decides to do that. Exactly, yeah. yeah. What, what you see on stage is probably about 2% of what actually goes on for the preparation for that. I, be I believe that. <laughs> uh, so you've got the, the two youth orchestras. Um, you also have a couple... Um, 
competitions that you have going on? Yes, yeah. yes, we have two solo competitions. Uh, well, actually, a solo competition and a composition uh, prize. Mm -hmm. uh, new this year, uh, we'll be taking applications. Uh, the first round is due on June 1st, and it's the Emerging Artist Solo Competition. There are a number of uh, competitions throughout the region that focus on uh, the age range of 18 and under, um, but we, we were hoping to kind of capture a little wider range of, of ages, um, from 16, so you get the, uh, you know, certain people who are coming out of high school who mm -hmm. are wanting to become, uh, you know, whether professional artists or amateur artists, all the way through those who are studying in, in undergraduate and graduate programs. Mm -hmm to give them an opportunity to perform uh, with an orchestra in the community. Uh, and this, this, uh, this competition is, is gauged to just provide that opportunity to, to solo uh, and to you know, help their careers with, uh, with, uh, with an opportunity like this. I, that's got to be a good thing to have on your resume, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah. It is. Um, before I forget, you brought a, a little snippet of, your, of the playing of your, uh, your music, and that's from the the whole orchestra? Um, yes, uh, the clip that I have is, uh, is a little, little bit of uh, Grieg's Four Norwegian Dances, and it's uh, from our first concert of, of this season. And how many concerts do you do during the year? We do an average of five or six a year, one in the summer, uh, four subscriptions throughout the year, uh, and often a gala as well. Good. Well, I think we, if we can, uh, I'd like to take a listen to that, that, that snippet that you brought, and, um, and uh, so we'll get a flavor for what, you, what you're doing. Certainly. Okay. was a snippet, but that was very nice. Oh, thank you, yeah. thank you. Um, and you've, you've actually played here, and, and that, mm -hmm. that was a joy. Uh, uh, um, over the holidays, you came and brought mm -hmm. a few people here and, and played for our holiday showcase program. That was really fun. Yeah, it was fun for us, too. Yeah, we yeah. really enjoyed being in the studio and yeah. getting a chance to work with, inter interact with, with uh, different groups, different yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good thing, it's a fun thing. Um, so, okay, we have the Emerging Artist Solo comp uh, Composition. Competition. Composition competition? Is well, that? The Emerging Artist Solo Competition. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have the John Kenneth Cole Composition Prize. Okay. Um, too many things here. Too, okay. Too, too, <laughs> many, too, yeah. uh, too many competition words. So, uh, and, and the John Kenneth Cole Composition Prize is, uh, is geared towards uh, composers 25 and, and younger. Uh, and John Cole approached the orchestra. He had, he had been a, a, a board member. He had been a, um, a, a longtime donor and, and supporter of the, of the orchestra. Uh, wanted to start a competition uh, or prize that uh, would encourage young composers to write for the medium of, of uh, chamber orchestra. Okay. And so what this, this, uh, this competition uh, encourages people to submit works. Uh, the winner will receive a $500 scholarship or, or uh, uh, prize, mm -hmm. and then uh, also a premiere of their work with the orchestra in our May concert. How exciting would that be? You, didn't you bring the um, last year's winner? On? No, well, we... we uh, we talked about last we talked year's about winner. Him. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. talked about him. So where are you in that process right now? Right now, we're, uh, we're just gearing up for the uh, dead, approaching deadline of March 1st. Um, and then once, uh, once we get uh, all the submissions uh, collected. Uh, the big job starts, huh? Exactly. The, the panel will go through uh, and, uh, and, and determine who the winner is. Wow. How, how long of a process is that to go through? Uh, it depends on how many applications. But usually, we get it done within about a week or so. How many applications did you get last year? Do you remember? Last year, I don't remember. Um, I, I want to say it was on the order of about 10 or 15. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So these are all local, or are these across? Most lo mostly local. Uh, we do get some from uh, all around the country. Our last year's oh. winner was actually from Minnesota. That's what I remember, though. There was somebody from mm -hmm. out of town. Huh. So how do they find out about it? Just They can go to our website, and on our website, if you uh, go to the main page on the top bar, uh, there's a little uh, link that says, that's, or a button, that says competitions, and it can bring you to all the information about the both the the solo competition and also the composition prize. Okay, good deal. Well, um, now, you said you have four main concerts a year. Uh, what, what do you have coming up next? Coming up we have uh, on March 7th, Saturday, March 7th, uh, we have a concert called Symphonic Series, and that will be mm -hmm. Beethoven's Sixth Symphony, uh, known as the Pastoral Symphony. 
Uh, and oh, we'll yeah. also, I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll also be joined by uh, Susan Smith, who, uh, who's a, a piano professor at Lewis and Clark College, oh. uh, who will be joining us with the, on the Schumann Piano Concerto. So do you often do that, have um, other artists join you? For yes, that? and actually one of our, one of our prime uh, artistic uh, missions uh, is to uh, compile, or to, not to compile, but to collaborate and work with uh, local musicians. There's such a wealth of wonderful performers throughout uh, Portland. Yeah. A lot of groups tend to bring in uh, places out, or you know people from outside right, outside right. Portland area, and we 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 uh, uh, have a mission of trying to uh, encourage and to support uh, local artists. I like that. Do you um, do you ever have artists that have a totally different kind of music than yours, and have them kind of collaborate with you, like you know, like um, say for example. Oregon Symphony sometimes has mm -hmm. people come in that I would never think would perform with the Oregon Symphony. They're just, you know, I just don't picture them together, but it's kind of cool when you get mm -hmm. you know, two different kinds of, two different genres of music. And do you ever do that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, uh, in the past, we've, we've done collaborations where uh, it's uh, kind of, one thing we like to do is keep, keep uh, classical music light and fun. Yeah. Uh, and trying to, and we, we've had, we've had performers in the past who've come uh, and done, you know, unconventional collaborations with us and of course down in the future we're, we're looking towards additional um, collaborations <laughs> that, that you wouldn't necessarily expect from a, yeah. from a classical orchestra. I think that kind of pushes people's um, imaginations when you do that I mean, and, and kind of opens them up to the possibility that you know, maybe I, I never really listened to this kind of music before but now I see it in a different light. I think it's a good thing. I remember last year you had um, a one concert that was called uh, Dun 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 Dun. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was great because it was it was so perfect. I mean, you know, you write that down. People knew exactly what that was. That was that was the hope. You know, people yeah. would see that and be like, Oh, I want to see that. Yeah, yeah. And nobody will just say it. They will, you know, they have to they, sing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so what's your favorite part of being involved with this orchestra? Oh gosh, it's it's hard to pick one thing. I mean, the people uh, that are part of the organization. Uh, I mean, the students, the musicians, mm -hmm. uh, the board of directors, the volunteers, um, all wonderful and dedicated group of people. And that's what that's what I really love yeah. about it. And of course, you know, there's there's the being an artist. You know, b being able yeah. to make music and be able to perform for the community and engage the community in, in the things that I'm passionate about. Those it's are a things. Special that I, gift, and and to be able to actually use it and be able to share that is is a wonderful thing. Um, before we finish up here tonight, um, I'm just wondering what, um, do you have a need for volunteers um, and how can it people be involved with your orchestra? Absolutely, we're, we're always looking for volunteers. Uh, we have uh, need, general needs uh, at concerts, for example, uh, patron services to help with ticket sales uh, at, at the gala concerts, uh, uh, depending on what the fundraising event is, if it's a, an auction or, a, or, right. or a, a raffle or something like that. Um, having volunteers to assist with with those sorts of things, uh, the youth orchestra always needs uh, volunteers uh, uh, to to assist with their their productions and mm -hmm. their concerts. So, right. and they can uh, volunteers can go to our website and there's actually a little tab where they can go to volunteer, um, and they can Find send an in general them. inquiry and it'll, it'll go right to me and we'll and get in touch with And you with just kind of do it all, don't you? Jeff? <laughs> we do. Uh, I do. <laughs> yeah, I do, yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> um, you have another little snippet of music for us. Tell me mm -hmm. what we'll be listening to. This is a little clip from uh, another previous concert. And it shouldn't need any introduction because people should hear, uh, should know right away. But uh, okay. it's the Rossini's uh, Barbara Seville. Oh yes, yes, I even know that one. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay. Well, let's listen to that, and um, and we'll go out on that note, and we'll also have the information um, about all the events that you have coming up, and uh, and then we'll see you here for the next time. Great. Thanks right. for having me. You bet. Thanks, Jeff.